Hey guys, welcome to the Solo Nightfall for week 21. This is going to be more of a post-game analysis of the Solo Nightfall since I streamed this run and was much more focused on not dying than I was providing commentary. There's going to be a lot of fast forwarding throughout the video just because a lot of the time is spent idle or just shooting stuff. I'm also talking very quietly because it's 4 in the morning. As usual, the rule is no elemental primary weapon, but everything else is fair game. You can ignore void damage for yourself, just bring solar and arc. This nightfall is the mega burn nightfall, which is a term that I just made up. It has all three burns, something that we've only seen once a long time ago, I think back in week five on Winter's Run. So this run is really not recommended as a solo run. Just gonna say that right off the bat. Literally everything here is going to kill you really hard, a lot. There's no light switch, but Stealth, Vandals, and any melee-focused captains, along with Thrall, have arc damage on their melee attacks, so you're going to be taking a lot of damage from those hits. For this first room, I definitely recommend Murmur because it's very versatile and you're going to need both arc and solar damage. Work on taking out the captains as quickly as possible, especially the melee ones. Soon after, you'll see, or rather, you'll hear the sounds of the Stealth, Vandals, and Shanks coming. This is when you change your Murmur back over to Solar because you're going to want to burn through those shanks right away. Try and get two for ones as much as possible. You should be killing a lot of the shanks, if not all of them. Then, after you've killed all of them, you'll have the Stealth Vandals come in. A grenade pretty much stops them right in their tracks most of the time, and if they're all bunched up, they should go down very, very easily. They're non-major, so they're not a big deal, just don't let them get close to you. As you kill more and more things in the room, you'll have the Hive finally attack. This concludes, includes a ton of Thrall. Keep staying back and mow down the Thrall as they come into the stairs. There's going to be a lot of them. Don't underestimate how many spawn, because there is a lot of them. You're also going to have to deal with some Boomer Knights. in particular a major one who will come into that first room where you're shooting everything. If you see a knight at all, you really should burst it the hell down as fast as possible. Use whatever means necessary because if you die here, it'll most likely be to that. Once the knights are clear, you can start clearing the rest of the room easy peasy. When you hear Eris speak again, that means a big wave of Fallen is coming from where you're supposed to be going. If you can shoot at them as they're funneling into the room, that's good. Do not rush up there. Clear everything in the room. Even two to three dregs will kill you really, really quickly. Take things slow, clear the entirety of the room. The next area, you're going to want to keep sticking with Murmur until all of the shanks are dead, then you can probably switch to a sniper. The goal here is to proc the shank spawn, then kill them. They're going to spawn in the back of the room, they're just going to pop up. Sometimes two will spawn from the left side if you're facing the big open door to the outside. Keep killing things one at a time until these pop, then retreat super, super far back. You're also going to have stealth vandals spawning at the same time. Retreat as far back as you need to stay safe. If anything kills you here, it's going to be that combo of the shanks or the stealth vandals. They're stealth melee vandals also, not, not just regular stealth vandals. Once all that nonsense is dead, you can switch to a sniper and you'll probably want to stick with that sniper for the rest of the run. Maybe not that particular sniper, but a sniper. There's going to be a lot of fallen ships coming in and dropping off more fallen. I think it's four ships, maybe even five. Whatever you do, do not go outside until all of these ships have dropped off fallen because the blast from the ship's guns will annihilate you very, very quickly. Early into the drop ships, you're going to have two major melee captains start rushing you. Just lay into them with arc damage. Anything else that rushes you at this point is probably going to be non-major, and at least until we get to the near end of this section. Continue to kill stuff, mainly vandals, until you only have captains remaining, then we're going to start working on them. But as you walk outside, be sure to look behind you, because up on the super high ledge up there, there is a vandal waiting for you. Sometimes uh, he'll be really annoying, sometimes he'll just stand there like a dope, but be sure to take him out. 
The goal here, obviously, is to kill the mini boss, but be aware that there's four to five stealth major melee vandals floating in the area that will totally destroy you. They will stay in this area should you not should you not kill them, but I like to kill them just to be sure. You're gonna take the captains one at a time, take them from as far back as you need to, use whatever means necessary, burst them down as fast as possible. Coming up to the first hive section when you first encounter Omnigol, you're going to have a lot of melee stuff dashing at you, including some Hallowed Thrall Exploder guys. Retreat as needed. Once all of that is clear, you're going to have two wizards waiting for you in the main hill going up. Just take them out as quickly as possible. Sprinkled throughout the area are more Hallowed Thrall that explode. You're going to want to get rid of these. One snipe will pretty much do it. Not to mention the non-major Boomer Knight high up on the ledge. He's over on the left side. You're going to need to do a bit of damage to Omnigol to get her to spawn the next wave of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff. If possible, try to burst down the ogre with some quick snipes, then retreat. As you're going you're going to have three major melee knights rushing you. You'll want that arc damage for those guys because they do not mess around. After those three knights are down, very slowly make your way up this hill. There's going to be a lot of things with boomer guns ready to kill you in an instant. Just take this as slow as you need to before reaching the boss room. Now I'm going to tell you this right now. This fight is essentially impossible to fight in the main room as a solo with something like this nightmare of a combination. This part of the strike took me longer than the first three parts combined because I like to play very patiently, because there were so many things shooting at me. For starters, you should be killing literally everything in the room before you consider going after Omnigol. All it takes is one poorly placed shot or one badly timed movement and your ass goes straight back into orbit. The main thing to worry about here is the hallowed boomer knight on the stairs, or main things rather, and the set of thrall and the non-major melee knight that are going to rush you every spawn wave. If you're staying in the room, which you basically have to, the chances are that you'll have to trigger the Thrall to come rush you. So they're not just going to run in automatically, so you just do this by shooting at them. Use a grenade on the melee knight, the Thralls are easy enough to kill. To get rid of the Boomer Knight, stand very far back and crouch. Use an Arc Sniper to take him down. If he can't get its head into view, pop two quick shots into its chest. It'll kind of stagger and fall back, which will reveal its head for a very brief time. Use that time to take out his head and pop a lot of damage on him. If you don't want to do that, you can just obviously pop a few more shots, but it wastes a little bit of ammo. And you're going to need all the ammo that you can get. Otherwise, you're just going to keep taking out Acolytes as needed. And when everything is dead, you can start working on Omnigol. When she reaches 75% health, new adds will spawn, and this process is, this process is going to repeat itself until she's dead. Each time you remove 25% of her health, she's going to spawn more and more enemies for you to kill. Each wave of 25% spawning enemies, there's going to be more of them every time. She'll spawn a non-major wizard for the first spawn, then two non-major wizards, then one major and one non-major. I ended up killing these guys last after I killed everything in the room on the ground floor. Be aware that apparently the Major Wizard can go right into the room that you stand in. This happened to me. This is totally within the realm of possibility, so just be careful. At 50%, you're going to have to deal with two sets of Thralls and Melee Knights instead of one set. Just be ready for that. You'll also have to deal with a Knight that spawns in the top right room. He uses a Boomer Gun. He might be kind of crammed into the corner on the right. Just use a grenade to dislodge it and clean it up, but do it quickly very very quickly. The last major thing that you need to worry about are the cursed and hallowed thrall that spawn in the doorway in the room that you stand in. These guys only spawn twice during the fight, usually in the middle of the fight. You're going to have to have your eyes glued, 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 glued to the radar to make sure that you don't fall victim to their flank. They're easy enough to kill, but you just need to be watching out for them. When you're on your last 25%, be aware that around 2 to 3%-ish health 
she'll summon another wave of adds. I recommend heavy burst when she's that low, otherwise you'll have another set of adds and wizards to deal with, and the last thing you want to be doing is just yoloing in there and dying because you tried to get off a couple of final shots. My biggest advice, my biggest piece of advice for this place is to just not do it. Find some friends. This run took me 52 minutes of stress. With a group, you can clear this place three times in 30 minutes. Do not torture yourself, please. That's why I do it for you. If for some reason you'd like to watch the entire thing without any speeding up the fo of the footage, you can check the description for a link. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and for the love of the f traveler, don't do this to yourself. Don't. Why would anyone do this? I must be the dumbest person on the planet. The dumbest. Uh don't do that. Don't, don't bother. Don't do that. Don't, why would you do that to yourself? Oh, why would you do that to yourself? Don't ever do that to yourself. Let me do it for you and then recommend afterwards that you don't do that. Never do that. Oh, great. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah.